Yeah, hi. We are watching Etna live stream. Somehow it seems that the eruption is quite big at the moment. It's a little bit hard to tell. But the actual size, I'm, I'm not sure when it started, but today somehow it seems it cranked up quite a bit. So maybe we have to take a look at the earthquake situation. And I would say that we have a situation. There is quite a lot going on at the moment. Some deep quakes beside Etna. Stromboli is erupting, erupting too. And Campi Frigray. And there's also a quake beside them, or has been. And I was about to make a video about this region here in Italy, where there was about some years ago, one of the biggest quakes in Italy. People lost their lives and stuff. And now it seems the same region is cranking up again. The Po River Delta. These are the old quakes, what we had already earlier. Oh. Wrong button. So anyway, there was something going on here. Wiener Neustadt. 7 kilometers in depth, also 7, turn 2, obviously. Uh, where was the bigger one? Twelve kilometers in depth. We, and the biggest one is obviously on some kind of water vein. Yeah, this looks in a way peatish, and we have also quite big mining operations going on there. Which isn't a surprise. This might be some army place. Yes, it is. So, an army city is shaking. And that's a really interesting place because we have this kind of triangle and it goes there and somewhat the butterfly shape here in front of it more mining operations Hochschneeberg. Repetitive patterns, the feathers. Yeah, I probably leave it here. Let's follow what Edna is doing. How big the eruption will be or still grows. But obviously, there's quite something going on in Europe, also in the northern part. Swallow about it. 
epicenter zero. Zero kilometers in depth. Let's just check out quickly, is there anything? Like if you turn the map, you can see outside of the map a little bit at least. But there are no quakes here. Let's go around the whole globe. Just to make sure that you don't miss anything. No. Nothing. Sixty nine kilometers and sixty eight. They are quite deep and quite strong. But that's those American people's job to report about their own quakes. <laughs> yeah. Sixteen kilometers in depth beside a volcano. Really interesting situation. There's stuff going on. Many quakes. Many interesting. Actually, I wanted to show you still one last thing. There's a quake in Switzerland. Or was. Two kilometers in depth. There was this mountain, this one, Glitchen. This is some amazing rock formation here. The 3D effect doesn't really work, but I won't know. I don't go now to Google Earth. Glitchen. That's really nice. There's so much interesting stuff. Like white rivers and stuff and many things. And I still say they're all connected. So now there's this river here going in there and it's Royce. And if you follow that river, it goes through this lake. And then it goes somewhere here and then it joins the Rhine River. Joins the Rhine River and then boom, Vulcano. So they are connected. Thanks. Bye.